So you just got your bantam extra small or your bantam small and now it's time to adjust it. When adjusted properly, the Easy Stand Bantam feels more natural to the child and the hip pivot of the stander is aligned with the child's hip, reducing shear. Proper setup also ensures full extension at the hip and knee. Height and weight guidelines for the Bantam Extra Small is 28 inches to 40 inches tall and up to 50 pounds. The Bantam Small fits kids 36 inches to 54 inches tall and up to 100 pounds. And now the six steps for a perfect fit. Step one, measure the child. Measure the child from the back of the leg to the back. This is your seat depth measurement. Next, measure from the bottom of the heel to the back of the knee. This is your foot plate to seat height. Step two, adjust the seat depth. Using your seat depth measurement that you got from your child, adjust the seat depth of the stander. This measurement would be from the front of the seat to the seat back. To adjust the seat depth, loosen the tightening knob under the seat. With one hand supporting the back, depress the spring button on the left side of the adjustment tube. Here's a hint, moving the snap button towards green, if we think of Jolly Green Giant, will garner you a larger seat depth and moving towards blue, we'll think of Smurf, will give you a smaller seat depth. After the correct seat depth is achieved, secure the tightening knot. Step three, adjust the back angle. On the opposite side of the seat depth adjustment, loosen the knob on the following arm under the seat. Depress the spring button and use the back as a lever to adjust the following arm so that the color of the decals match the color you've selected on the seat depth tube. Notice that there are several adjustment possibilities for each color. Be sure that the colors of the seat depth tube and the back angle match to avoid damage to the unit. When you have achieved your desired back angle, tighten the knob securely for maximum stability. Step four, adjust the foot plates. Adjust the foot to seat height using the measurement you took from the child from the bottom of the heel to the back of the knee. Loosen the ratchet handle on the foot plate to allow height and plantar dorsi adjustment. Tighten the ratchet handle securely after positioning. When adjusting, the knees should be slightly lower than the hip. Step five, get the hips back. Make sure that the child's hips are as far back as possible. Using a hip positioning belt may aid in positioning. Keeping the child's hips in line with the Bantam's hip pivot point will help bring shear to a minimum. One way to determine correct positioning is to check the gap between the back of the knee and the seat. This space should be approximately the size of two fingers. Step six, adjust the knee pads. Your final adjustment is the knee pad. Adjust the knee pad so that it fits comfortably up to the knees with the knee pad slightly above the top of the knee. And there you have it. A properly adjusted Easy Stand Bantam will be more comfortable and provide a healthier weight bearing experience for your child.